Today, the World Health Organization officially declared the coronavirus a public health emergency. That allows countries to decide whether to close their borders, cancel flights, screen people arriving at airports, or take other measures. The number of cases and the number of people who have died continues to grow in China where this virus originated. Now, right now here in the U.S., there are five confirmed cases. That's what we know, but there was still a lot that people don't know. So we wanted to get you the answers to make sure as this virus spreads, so do the facts. The latest numbers, more than 8,000 cases of the Wuhan coronavirus confirmed in mainland China, and 213 people there have died from it. A coronavirus is actually a family of viruses. And they're called coronaviruses because when you look at them under the microscope, mm -hmm. they have little spikes coming out of the edges, uh, which look sort of like a crown or a corona or the sun's corona. You've heard of the MERS and SARS viruses. Those are types of coronaviruses. This one currently spreading in China hasn't been recognized before. The current thinking is that it was a virus that was typically in animals, uh, maybe bats, maybe some other animals, and that it jumped to humans. So it has never before been seen in humans. Health officials believe the animal to human transmission likely happened at a market in Wuhan, China, where live animals were being sold. So what are the symptoms? Think flu. Starting at the mild end, they can be sneezing, coughing, fever, aches, and then as you get down towards the more extreme end, you're getting, uh, uh, you're feeling like you have pneumonia, um, difficulty breathing. The virus spreads through droplets, often someone sneezing or coughing and someone else breathing in those droplets. Similar to the flu, people with a weakened immune system, especially older people, are most at risk. The Washington Post reports that work on a vaccine for the coronavirus is underway. That work being done in Boston, San Diego, and Houston. Five cases have been confirmed in the U.S. People in the United States are in no imminent danger whatsoever. You don't need to walk around wearing a mask. You don't need to be worried about that other person in the bus or on the subway with you. You need to wash your hands. You need to take the kinds of precautions you take with the flu. Don't go to work if you're sick. You need to be aware. Things can change, and they can change quickly. Here in the U.S., the CDC is screening patients for the coronavirus at 20 major airports, and that includes George Bush Intercontinental in Houston.